Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fish Tank. My name is Squidhead Joe. And in today's video, I got something a little bit special for you guys. I'm gonna have two guests on this video. One is Legend of T. Legend of T is a streamer slash YouTuber, predominantly known for doing Warzone and Call of Duty content, but he's an awesome person all around. Grave, he is a really good editor and he's been making thumbnails and editing some of the videos here on the channel. God. Oh my God. So I kind of wanted to get their unique perspectives on the topics that we're going to cover today in today's video. With that being said, my name is Squidhead Joe. I am a content creator slash streamer over on Twitch and a content creator on YouTube who switched from doing gaming content over to product reviews, content creation, uh, education, as well as doing some kind of vlogs and stuff about myself and kind of like getting more personal with all that being said my favorite color is red the blood of my enemies you know what i'm saying yeah enough of jokes and everything aside one of the hardest things i would say i had to learn was learning that i have to be okay with myself first as far as putting out content and being careful to not let what people think about me or the negative comments or anything like that from videos or live streams or anything really affect me as a content creator. I've dealt with racism when I first started doing Twitch and doing content creation over on YouTube. I've dealt with people with my, having a problem with me being a veteran, serving in the military and a myriad of other things. But that's one thing I had to deal with me personally, because I am a disabled veteran, I have mental issues. Um, that's why, you know, I'm disabled. Dealing with all that and real life stuff can be hard being a content creator, especially being a streamer. Content creation, as far as like video form, you can always cut stuff out. But when you're live streaming and you're dealing with racism or whatever it may be, it's kind of hard on the spot. Some people have thick skin. I do not. It's something that I had to build up over time. Now I would say I have thicker skin, but when I started, I didn't. So that was one of the hardest parts of being a content creator. The number one tip I would tell content creators to focus on would be to focus on using, if you're a gaming content creator, use those gaming highlights that you would put into an actual video into shorts. And then if you're going to do longer form content on video games or something like that, I would suggest something like a retrospective or something along the lines of some kind of review of a video game and use those gaming highlights that you did from streaming and stuff like that as a overlay of your voiceover while you're talking about whatever it is as far as aspects of the video game. The other thing I would say, if you're not doing any of that, I would suggest doing product reviews um, of things that you already own or use in your household or something like that. Um, it could be anything from kitchenware to uh, your office setup to your gaming setup or, you know, what maybe you use a different controller than everybody else. Maybe you use a certain keyboard or a mouse or something, or maybe you use a, a neat webcam or just anything, even LED LED strips or LED lights, it doesn't matter if somebody else already has covered that product or recovered those things. You are a unique individual. You are your own self again. So your perspective on it or wherever, it doesn't matter if 18 other channels have covered those products or are doing that thing, you still have your own place in the spectrum of content creation. So you need to fill that space. This is an interesting one. Why I like being a content creator or love being a content creator. It's kind of hard to explain it. First off, I did it as a hobby, especially with streaming. That's pretty much what I started doing. I did a little bit of Minecraft back in the day when that was blowing up on YouTube. But then I got into streaming and I just liked streaming because it was simple. It was just you hit a button to go live and then you just streamed you playing a game or whatever. And that did good until 
it got to this point to where now it's super hyper competitive. And I think people have lost focus what the whole thing of content creation should be. I love streaming, just be a way to connect to other people who enjoy playing the games that I enjoy playing. And then content creation, I just love helping people find products and stuff they can use who are maybe on a budget like I was when I first started content creation. Now I'm in a better place so I can afford to buy things like camera setups or anything like that. It's the fact of I'm able to give people an educated decision that they can buy a certain product or something like that, or find a deal that maybe, yeah, they can't get the super expensive thing or whatever that's well known as brand name, but maybe this budget item over here that does essentially the same thing might be in line of what they need slash versus what they want. What do I hate as far as being a content creator? Uh, everything <laughs> in all seriousness though it's the whole fact of people and what they think content creation is nowadays and this whole hyper competitive mentality behind content creation where everybody's trying to do everything else i've put out a video before about content creation and social media in 2023 i'll try to link it up uh in the cards up above what happens is is that nowadays everybody's copying everybody else. If somebody does a dance on TikTok and it blows up, everybody does the same dance. And it's not even actually dancing, it's choreographed movement. And I know people will say, well, it's choreographed, but it's, it's, it's not dancing, but it's irritating to see that kind of stuff blow up and get big when you actually have people out here who can actually dance like break dancing, pop locking, animation, light feet. You have all these different genres of dancing out there and people just for whatever reason, enjoy doing these simple movements or wherever that, and it's no benefit. It's different when you're doing product reviews because you might have a unique take or something like that. So even if I cover a microphone, my thoughts and opinions, my voice, everything might be different than somebody else who covers the same microphone. There's nothing new. We're not bringing anything new to the table. We're not educating people. And I think that's something that uh, really irks me about content creation. It's easier to just to follow the leader instead of being a leader themselves. I would have stopped doing gaming content a long time ago. Um, I still would have streamed obviously games and stuff like that. Cause that's what I enjoyed doing. And that's what I enjoyed uh, for a long time. But when I came to the realization of me wanting to switch over to doing product reviews and changing what I did for my longer form content on YouTube. I really do think that I should have focused on doing product reviews and stuff like that. Cause I had gear and stuff already. I just didn't really have a way to do a video format. So I would have probably bought a camera a long time ago, or maybe would have got me a better cell phone, even though I don't really care for having a cell phone, but it is what it is. But I would have done something like that and swapped my content a long time ago, even though I realized already that I was repetitively hitting a brick wall and not really growing or anything anything like that with just doing long form content of gaming, but I would have definitely done that a while ago. And um, there's a lot of information up here that I could have been already disseminating to different people wherever to help them grow their own uh, YouTube channels or even streaming channels or whatever. So that's one thing I would have changed. For new content creators who are trying to honestly really make a difference in the space and who are really trying to take this seriously, I would say the same thing I've been saying the whole entire time. Don't waste your time doing gaming stuff unless it's going to be, like I said, retrospectives or it's going to be a game review or something like that of a game that came out. And then just use your streaming content as the long form content, like a gameplay thing and then you do a voiceover i wouldn't suggest doing like gaming walkthroughs or anything like that there's so many channels out over there that's oversaturated with that through youtube so i would suggest just focusing on doing content that's going to actually get you long lasting effects or views or something like that as far as okay this time next year is somebody still going to be watching the video? Is it still going to be relevant? Like if you do a product review on a microphone or a keyboard or something like that, people are still going to want to know about that product, especially if it's affordable and you can find it easily like on Amazon or at Walmart or something like that. I would suggest doing stuff like that, especially you can start with stuff that you already have in your space. Other than that, 
I would say you can do it. There's some stuff that you're going to have to overcome. If you have mental issues or any issues like that, obviously it's going to be a little bit harder, especially if, like if you're an introvert like me, it takes time to sit here and learn how to talk to a camera and look at the lens, learn how other people are editing videos. That's catchy. That's keeping your attention. Watch as many videos as you can before you even upload a video. A lot of people just say upload videos or wherever and then get better with time. It's 2023. That does no longer apply in my personal opinion. I would say watch a lot of videos, see how people are editing it. If those people that you like to watch talk about how they edit their videos, watch those videos in particular, learn other programs and stuff like that. Look for free software. There's a lot out there like DaVinci Resolve. There's Photoscape or wherever that you can easily use for your thumbnails instead of paying something like Photoshop or wherever, even if you don't have the money to pay Photoshop, which is like 20, 30 bucks or wherever a month, just sit down and record something as a sample and then watch editing tutorials and stuff like that on how to use a program. But again, you can do it. I don't think content creation as a whole is oversaturated. I just think the way we do content creation has gotten stale. And that's why a lot of people are frustrated because they don't understand why their methods is not working. And it's because they're either old and stale or they're copying somebody else, expecting something to happen. It's a definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome. It's just not going to happen unless you become the leader yourself and stop being a follower. And with that being said, my name has been Squidhead Joe. And uh, here are the special guests. Hey, what's going on, Squid Gang? Boy Grave, and to introduce myself, I'm a visual artist and I'm also a content creator for NorCal Esports. And I'm also the guy that edits this video. That edits? Why did, I, why did I say that? I'm also the guy that edited this video right here that you're seeing, also the thumbnails and a couple numerous videos on this channel as well. Nice to meet you. The hardest thing to learn from me specifically was getting over that hump of not seeing any progress in my videos and, and also my content and also my art as well. You have to realize that people are going to judge you either way it goes. So you might as well just go full head, full steam ahead to whatever you want to specifically do and where you want to end up in life and end up in the career path that you've chosen. The one tip that I have for new creators is definitely focus on yourself, but also follow the trends. But Throw a little bit of sauce and personality into your content and everything that you do because obviously you can follow the trends as much as you want to and this and that but if you just copy and paste people videos people aren't gonna really watch for that but what you want to do is just take trends and put a little twist on it you know what i'm saying like have that personality in it like that only you could bring to it and that's the key to it uh, me personally i love being a creator because i like to see the outcome of everything that i put together and the hours and hours and hours and hours of work i put into the work to see the best outcome possible and plus, you're supposed to do this for yourself anyways, and that's the best route to go about it also. The one thing I hate about being a content creator is definitely burnout. Trust and believe. If you go as hard and if you stay as persistent as you really should, it kind of is like a give or take, you know what I'm saying? Like, it can end up really bad if you burn yourself out. And trust me, everybody has been there. You're not alone. And lastly, the one thing I would have done differently is definitely be myself. That is the number one tip that I got for this entire video. You got to be yourself and you have to stand out. You can follow trends, like I said, in number three or number four, whatever question that was. You have to throw in a lot of personality and you got to be 100% yourself because if you end up being fake, people are going to sniff that out real quick in your videos. I've heard it from the greats and I've heard it from the lows too. If you come on here, hi, how's it going today, guys? Like, bro, nobody's going to listen to you, bro. You just got to be yourself. Those are my tips. Now we up out of here. Dang, my wrist just cracked. What was that? Either way it goes, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your video and also your interview. It really means a lot. You're right into this. <clears throat> Hi, my name is T or Legend of T. I am a content creator for Connage Clan and I love playing Call of Duty. I also love going to the gym and also dancing. A little bit more about myself. I've been a content creator for about five to six years now. It's definitely been a journey, I will say that for sure. So one of the hardest things that I had to learn to be a content creator is to just being able to get over the anxiety and also stop overthinking. Because as a content creator, you're a people pleaser. You wanna be sure that you wanna be able to post the best content and all that fun stuff. And sometimes you think that you wanna post something, but you're kinda of like, oh, should I post this? Is this too cringy? That's definitely something that I'm still learning to do and to do better at today. Is to like, whatever I have, just post it. Because somebody out there is going to like the content regardless. And also learning to not care what people have to say and what you do, because we all are all passionate about something out there. And if this is something you wanna pursue in, 
We'll send it because we're all going to die one day. People are going to talk regardless. So you might as well just live your best life and do whatever that you want to do in your life. One thing that I do recommend for creators to focus on is probably consistency. If you're not consistent, it's going to be a little bit hard to gain an audience and also build your community, especially when new people come into your community. They want to see also different forms of content from you. So what that means, streaming or also posting on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever platform. They love seeing that. And also that's how you bring more people in too. The biggest reason why I love being a creator is because I'm able to express myself and not have to hide myself. And growing up, I did have to suppress myself a lot, especially for my love for video games. And being able to be a creator has definitely helped me just be who I want to be. People are going to hate. It's the internet. It's the people who support you for you. It makes a really big difference. What do you hate about being a creator? I think the word hate is, is kind of a very aggressive word but there are things that i do dislike about being a creator is because being able to be on top of like certain trends having the time to edit the editing oh my gosh they're being able to be on top of trends and trying to find time to edit especially have a part-time job and also there's a lot of self-doubt when being in this industry and that does take a toll on me a lot but i have great people around me that also reassure me that i'm on the right path bringing in the right people as well with my community and also feeling like you're kind of falling behind too i think that's probably one of the biggest things that i hate being a creator, you want to be able to get out the best content first as you're looking at everybody else's progress and you're comparing yourself to other people. And then the last question is one thing you could have done different for me personally is starting out when I was younger, <laughs> when I was in high school, I kind of did, but I didn't actually pursue in content creation and streaming until like after high school because I just had a busy schedule. So this is your sign to start now. I can't stress that enough because the last thing you want to do is look back and blame yourself for not starting when you wanted to start. So start now.